What's good friends and family, Mr. Flip Flop here with another informative video. Now I'm sure what's been going around and the reason I'm making this video right now is because in all of the groups, Facebook, WhatsApp, people have been going crazy talking about the fake alcohol. Now, I know it won't put your mind at ease that much, but the places where they serve this fake alcohol, most of you guys would never go. And when I say that, it's usually the Barrio Calmados, some of the burial bars and places where people want to be cheap and save money. So let's go over real quick what's been going on in the past few months. Now, there has been a uh, about 90 deaths Dominican, Dominican uh, locals have died from fake liquor with meth menthol. Okay, so the reality is what's happening is, is a highly toxic substance in adulterated fake alcohol. Now, I have a lot of information on this because I've seen it and it's been offered to me. But as I said, most places we go to as tourists, you will not find fake alcohol. For the, uh, the reality is this. About six or seven years ago, Brugal stopped having its vendors go business to business. Years ago, when I had my business in Port Applied and a couple of other businesses, the Brugal vendor would come to the business take your order and bring your order directly from Brugal the next day or two days later. Now, for some reason, Brugal stopped having its vendors. I don't know the ins and outs of that story. I just know we got a notice saying, you will have to buy from these distributors from this point on. In that time, I did notice that there were a lot of people pulling up with boxes of whiskey, boxes of rum, saying, hey, I got it for cheaper, buy it from me. Now, me being me, and me being from New York, I would never buy any bootleg alcohol or something that you're going to put in your system. Bootleg clothes, we we'll go down to Delancey, you know what it is. But bootleg alcohol, I would never sell that. Now, I explained to a friend on Facebook, the reason my beers are so cold is because of my experiences in Dominican business. If your beers are warm, they will talk about you like a dog and you will lose a ton of business. It takes one hot beer and everybody's talking about you. So I keep my beers cold based off that information when I have my Dominican business and my other business as well. If you serve fake liquor and the word gets out, they will boycott and trash your business and you will lose tons of money. Now, did people go and buy fake liquor? Yes, businesses did. I actually caught three businesses, two of them, Dominican, one almost tourist serving the liquor and I called them out. I know my liquor. If you guys know, I know my liquor. And I'll give you a demonstration afterwards. So I called them out and I said, hey, this is not real liquor. I know what this is supposed to taste like. It's not real. Well, I called them out. They was like, yo, we're sorry. Blah, blah, blah. The assumption is that most people would be too drunk to realize it's fake liquor. And you can get sick and die. So I'm going to repeat it one more time before I go into more, more detail. Most places that serve the fake liquor or that were serving it, most of us would not go to. Most places. Now, they just released today. You are getting three months mandatory in prison before a court date if you're caught serving fake liquor. They have been raiding car models, raiding businesses. Some businesses that you see at the end of this video, D. Charlie's, one of my favorite locations, as well as Chalos in Porta Plata, are already doing the testing of all their bottles and showing people their bottles are real from the company. Each bottle has a stamp on the top with a barcode number, sort of like Cohibas. You can buy fake Cohibas or you can go on the website to prove your Cohiba is real. So right now, if you serve fake liquor, it would be the stupidest thing in the world. I have never served fake liquor. I couldn't serve fake liquor. One, because I like to drink. And two, I would never do that to my patrons. There are places I've caught serving fake liquor. And as of now, I don't think, I think in the next three days, there will not be a single person serving fake liquor in Dominican Republic. And I'll tell you why. Besides the pressure from the police and the health department, Brugal has lost a ton of money. And they have put their own money up to investigate and find the people serving fake liquor. Now, Greg, what type of liquor is faked in DR that I know of, my personal experience? Whiskey, 
in my experience, there was Johnny Walker Black that was actually Johnny Walker Red in the bottle. I proved that. And the fake Brugat. And there's another uh, rum, I forgot the name that they've been selling. It's a no-name brand rum. That's the one that's really getting people sick. It's like a dollar for like half a liter, and people are getting sick off of that. And like I said, you guys won't buy that, and you guys won't be in the areas where they serve that fake liquor. So right now, before I get into it, I'm going to show you how to, to, how to, some of you guys probably don't care, but how to make sure you have real liquor in case you come across a place and you're not sure. Now here's a bottle of Extra Viejo, a gallon, I served this in Flip Flop, and as I said, you can try me, all my liquor's real. This is Extra Viejo, the real stuff. I called a friend, I won't say from where, and I asked him to bring me a bottle of the fake stuff. He didn't have a bottle, but he brought me a soda bottle of the fake stuff. That's this. Now as we take the real stuff, the odor is kind of caramel and rum, if you know what rum smells like. Now see me being a drinker, I know what my liquor is supposed to smell and taste like. Which back in New York, if you guys go back in the day in the clubs, they had fake Hennessy in the Hennessy bottles. Similar thing, people trying to save a buck. So it's got kind of a caramel, but it smells like rum, if you know what rum's supposed to smell like. Okay, it's got that wood barrel smell to it. Now let's taste it. It tastes like rum. Now let's go to the fake stuff. First off, a little bit of color differential right there, a little darker. Okay, let's go to the smell. It smells almost like rubbing alcohol. Maybe a little bit stronger than rubbing alcohol. Okay, and the taste. And I have no problem tasting it because I'm... I'm not going to drink the whole thing, obviously. The taste is tart, overly strong, does not taste like rum at all. And yes, I'm going to drink a gallon of water when I'm done with this video. So, for you guys, I guarantee you in the next couple days, there will be no places that you frequent that will have fake liquor because of the police, the health administration, and Brugal is putting their own money up to find everybody serving fake liquor. Unfortunately, there's something that happened, and like I said, it's in the barrios and the local Camados. It's not really in our areas. If you want a list of places that you're worried about may have fake liquor, you can come talk to me direct. Obviously, I can't out anybody on YouTube without being sued, but I do know certain places that maybe used to sell fake liquor but don't anymore, or maybe still may mess around and serve fake liquor. Uh, but for the most part, go to a place you know, go to a place you trust that you know serves real liquor, okay? So you guys, uh, appreciate all you guys. Stay tuned for the video. The guy at Charlie's, one of the managers, he's actually showing how he tests all his bottles to prove, to prove that he has real liquor. What all businesses are doing now is posting their Instagram and Facebook, going on the app, showing they have real liquor, okay? So guys, don't worry. You really won't run across much fake liquor. It has happened, but like I said, it's mainly the Barrios, the Calmados, where people are being really cheap, trying to save a buck. And for all my business guys, don't buy any alcohol off the truck or the back of a truck. It's not worth it. You guys stay tuned. That's just a small PSA for me. I'm enjoy this real Brugal. Mr. Flip Flop, and I'm out. Tendrá esa aplicación. Le da ingresar el código. Ese código que está ahí, usted lo va a poner aquí. Z, un, dos, dos, Z, uno, X, cinco, H, X, tres, cuenta. Está listo, va a verificar. Salí eso. Wow, verificación exitosa. Ahí le sale todo el dato. Ya, vamos a reír.